हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू यूट्यूब चैनल एम जे मंजिल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल टूडेज वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी पर्टिकुलरली हेल्पफुल फॉर ऑल द क्लास टेन स्टूडेंट्स आउट दे आर गेदिंग अप फॉर देयर बोर्ड एग्जाम द सी बी एस ई क्लास टेंथ मैथमेटिक्स बोर्ड एग्जाम विल हेल्ड ऑन मंडे मार्च इलेवन एक्सप्लोर द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट एंड फॉर्मूले फॉर क्लास टेंथ मैथमेटिक्स बोर्ड एग्जाम This revision, along with simple tips, will assist students in a smart exam preparation. So grab your notebook and let's get started. First, chapter number one, number system. First point: a number is prime if it has only two factor, one and itself. Number two: every composite number can be expressed as product of prime factor. Third, HCF. HCF of two number. is equal to product of smaller power of each common factor in the number fourth lcm lcm of two number is equal to product of greatest power of each prime factor involved in the number fifth hcf multiplied with lcm is always equal to product of two number chapter number 2 polynomial first standard form of linear polynomial is ax plus by standard form of quadratic polynomial is a x square plus bx plus c standard form of cubic polynomial is ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d third relationship between zeros and coefficient of polynomial zero of linear polynomial is equal to minus b by a sum of zeros of quadratic polynomial s is equal to alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a product of zeros of quadratic polynomial p is equal to alpha into beta is equal to c by a third sum of zeros of cubic polynomial alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by a product of zeros of cubic polynomial alpha beta gamma is equal to minus d by a sum of product of two zeros taken at a time alpha into beta plus beta into gamma plus alpha into gamma is equal to c by a third point quadratic polynomial when sum and product of zeros are given is equal to x square minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha into beta Or x square minus sum of zeros into x plus product of zeros. Fourth, geometrically, the zeros of polynomial f x are the x coordinate of point where the graph y is equal to f x intersect the x axis. Fifth, a polynomial of degree n can have at most n zeros, real zeros. Sixth, if alpha plus gamma beta and alpha into beta are given, then alpha square plus beta square is equal to alpha plus beta whole square minus two alpha beta. Alpha cube plus beta cube is equal to alpha plus beta cube minus three alpha beta bracket alpha plus beta. Alpha to the power four plus beta to the power four is equal to Alpha square plus beta square whole square minus two alpha beta whole square. Next chapter number three. Pair of linear equation in two variable. First, each solution x y of a linear equation a x plus b y plus c is equal to zero, which represent a line, correspond to a point on the line. Second, a pair of linear equation in two variable x y is a one x. Plus b one y plus c one is equal to zero. A two x plus b two y plus c two is equal to zero. Third, a one x plus b one y plus c one is equal to zero. A two x plus b two y plus c two is equal to zero. The present intersecting line if a one by b one is not equal to b one by b two. It is the present parallel line if. A one by A two is equal to B one by B two is not equal to C one by C two. It is a present coincident line if A one by A two is equal to B one by B two 
is equal to c1 by c2. Fourth point. A pair of linear equation a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 is said to be consistent and unique solution if a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 is said to be consistent and infinite number of solution if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2. Third, it's said to be inconsistent and no solution if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2. Fifth, certain basic fact to know. Equation of y-axis is x is equal to 0 and equation of x-axis is y is equal to 0. Equation of line parallel to x-axis is y is equal to b and equation of line parallel to y-axis is x is equal to a. Six point, if unit digit is x and 10 digit is y, then the number formed is given by 10y plus x. Seven, if the pair of linear equation is such that the coefficient of x and y are interchanged in two equation, then add the two equation and subtract the two equation. Example, 254x plus 309y is equal to minus 55. 309x plus 254y is equal to 55. Chapter 4 Quadratic Equation Standard form of quadratic equation is a x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a is not equal to 0. Quadratic formula Root of quadratic equation a x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 are given by x is equal to minus b plus minus root d divided by 2a where d is equal to b square minus 4ac is called discriminant. Third, nature of root of quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. First, two distinct real root if b square minus 4ac is greater than 0. Two real and equal root if b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. No real root if b square minus 4ac is less than 0. Chapter 5th Arithmetic Progression General form of an AP is A, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D and goes on. Second, nth term of AP formula AN is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. Nth term from the end is given by L minus N minus 1 D where L is last term. Fourth, sum of N digit of AP is given by N by 2 bracket A 2A plus bracket N minus 1 into D or N by 2 A plus L or N by 2 A plus A N. Fifth, sum of first N natural number is given by n into n plus 1 divided by 2. Sixth, sum of first n even natural number is given by n into n plus 1. Seven, sum of first n odd number natural number is given by n square. Eighth, a to the power of n s n minus s n minus 1 that is a1 is equal to s1 a2 is equal to s2 minus s1, a3 is equal to sc minus s2 and so on. Ninth, three consecutive term in AP are taken as a minus d, a, a plus d with common difference d. Four consecutive term in AP are taken as a minus cd, a minus d, a plus d and a plus cd with common difference of 2d. Five consecutive term in AP are taken as a minus 2d, a minus d, a plus d, a plus 2d with common difference of d. Chapter 6 Triangle First, basic proportionality theorem BPT or Thales theorem. If a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides in two distinct points, then the other two sides are divided in same ratio. Criteria for similarity of triangle. 
first triple a similarity if in two triangle corresponding angle are equal then their corresponding sides are in the same ratio and hence the two triangle are similar triple s similarity if in two triangle side of one triangle are proportional the other side of the two triangle then their corresponding angles are equal hence the two triangle are similar SAS similarity if one angle of triangle is equal to one angle of other triangle and the sides including this angle are proportional then two triangle are similar chapter number 7 coordinate geometry the distance of a point from y axis is called x coordinate second the distance of a point from y axis is called y coordinate third any point on x axis will be of the form x comma 0 fourth any point on y axis will be of the form 0 comma y fifth distance between two point a x1 y1 and b x2 y2 is given by ab is equal to root of x square x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square sixth distance of a point p x y from origin o is given by root of x square plus y square distance of point p from x axis is mod of y distance of point p from y axis is mod of x nine three point p q r are collinear means they are in a straight line if p at q plus q r is equal to p r 10 if point p x y divide the line segment joining a x1 y1 and b x2 y2 in the ratio m is to n internally then the coordinates of p r m x2 plus n x1 divided by m plus n m y2 plus n y1 divided by m plus n 11 midpoint formula if p x comma y is the midpoint of line segment joining a x1 y1 and b x2 y2 then coordinate of p r x1 plus x2 by 2 y1 plus y2 by 2 12 coordinate of centroid of a triangle with vertex a x1 y1 b x2 y2 and c x3 y3 are x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3 13 the point which divide the line joining a and b in the ratio 2 is to 1 and 1 is to 2 are called the point of trisection 14 to find the coordinate of fourth vertex of a parallelogram use the concept that diagonal of a parallelogram bisect each other that is coordinate of midpoint of both diagonals are equal 15 to prove a quadrilateral to be a rectangle prove that length of opposite side are equal and length of diagonal are also equal 16 to prove a quadrilateral to be parallelogram prove that length of opposite sides are equal and length of diagonal are not equal 17 to prove a quadrilateral to be square prove that length of all side are equal and length of diagonal are also equal 18 to prove that quadrilateral to be rhombus prove that length of all side are equal and length of diagonal are not equal and there you have it folks the basic concept and formula in mathematics for you class 10 board exam remember consistent revision practicing the sample paper and solving previous year question paper are key to performing well If you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content best of luck with your exam and i will see you in the next video happy studying mm -hmm.